Hey guys, so this is a day in the life of a GYN PA in surgery. It's on the way to work, I put on my mask, y'all. COVID is real. Please wear your mask. Walk to the doctor's lounge, of course, put my stuff away and grab something to eat and start charting. This is where I'm going to respond to patients, call people, of course, stuff my face and prep for surgery. It was pretty long today. <laughs> grab some lunch really quick. Again, charting, catching up on everything. Then I have two more surgeries for the day so i'm waiting around then after i'm done i take off my shoe coverings then i take off my beautiful net and then we are done for the day I tried to wake up at six, it ended up being seven, whatever. Brush my teeth, get some emails done, then time for my run. This is my little outfit. Hey. Took a run in Central Park. It's a protein smoothie for breakfast, hair and makeup. I did a quick makeup touch up while I'm FaceTiming my mom. Content and then day. shot some content with some Miss Universe staff. After that, came back, had not the best lunch. Changed to some chill clothes. Then I had to change back to another outfit for some more emails, a conference call, and then prepping for a Zoom interview with extra a little powder, a little lip a little shimmy and then the interview and then laying on my bed contemplating my life before falling asleep in my makeup this is what my day as a news reporter usually looks like i join my editorial meeting through a video call this is where i present my news stories to the producers today i was assigned to a beach story in san francisco so i gathered my things said goodbye to my cat ringo it's about an hour drive with traffic as soon as I got there, I put on my chanclas and a jacket. It was windy, foggy, and cold. My goal on the beach was to find some Spanish speakers. It wasn't too hard because the Bay Area has tons of Latinos. Also, we have to use these boom mics during our interviews because of COVID. After I got the sound bites, I needed to take some shots. We call this B-roll. Then I recorded my outro because I didn't go live today. And once this was done, it was time to go back home. I did a Zoom interview with the doctor. I ate a tostadas. I wrote the story. We never get breaks. Then I edited my story in Premiere and I sent it back to our studio and the final product goes on the 6 p.m. news. Also, we have to write a news article about our story once we're all done. Day in the life of the cat's least favorite day of the year, the annual vet visit. Cecil wasn't allowed to eat breakfast, so neither of them did. They immediately knew something was up. They saw the cat carriers, they hid. It took me about 10 minutes and minor damage from Simon, but I was able to catch them and we were on our way. Once we got to the vet, we waited our turn because COVID. Cecil was getting a preventative dental cleaning and Simon was just a quick wellness exam, so I got to bring him home quickly. He still went to hide because he does not trust me. Later, I got to pick up Cecil and this is why I took off work because he had to get anesthesia for his dental procedure. But poor guy was having a rough 24 hours coming out of anesthesia. He's the bravest boy and now he has shiny pearly white teeth to bite me with later. I had a seltzer for breakfast and then I changed four different times because I could not figure out what to put on this morning. And then was on my merry way. I grabbed a venti matcha with almond milk, was shouted at by a crazy person in the train station. I pulled jewelry for a client whose birthday it is and then began my work on the movie that we're doing right now. It was a ton of men's where I was there until about 7 p.m. Tried to grab a glass of wine after dinner and I don't know, it was just like drizzling or something. Um, beautiful weather for outdoor dining. I got lost at a construction site trying to find my way home, ruined my loafers, my hair was absolutely drenched, took a shower, made some kale for dinner, and then read my book. 